People say that time cannot have geometry and symmetry because time is only one dimensional. But in quantum atom theory, time is only one dimensional for each individual observer. Each observer has created their own space-time geometry. This can be seen as line symmetry in the physical shape of the observer. They will see and fill this line symmetry as the arrow of time, or as the timeline pointing from the past into the future. There has to be a general principle underlying the formation of such patterns of broken symmetry. It cannot be just because mathematics works that way that we see such beauty and symmetry. There has to be a physical reason. The symmetry of mathematics is a reflection of our universe. The universe is not a reflection of our mathematics. In quantum atom theory, it is the emission and absorption of light or electromagnetic radiation from one atom to another that forms the forward momentum of time, continuously creating the broken symmetry of space-time. Light moves in straight lines, always taking the simplest and most efficient path, but in three-dimensional space it will expand out in all directions as light spheres. The polarization of the light will be the same for the entire surface of the light sphere, creating quantum entanglements and the symmetry and geometry of space-time. The frequency of the wavelengths will form spherical waves of periodic motion. Because of the wave nature of electromagnetic radiation, it is impossible to achieve absolute zero. Therefore, all systems will oscillate in periodic or harmonic motion. It is this harmonic oscillation that is at the heart of all fractional self-similarities. The symmetry and geometry of space-time will automatically lead to fractional self-similarities. Therefore we see fractional self-similarities at every degree and angle of creation and have a universal method of pattern formation of organic and non-organic matter. Since Newton, physics has been based on equations that relate not to the physical object itself, but to the rate of change that the object will undergo in a period of time called differential equations. These equations on motion and later electromagnetic fields are very beautiful, but there is a small problem, and that is we have no understanding of time. It is, this, it is normal when people cannot understand something for them to say it does not exist. This worked in physics until we looked down into the quantum world of the atom and found the measurement problem and entanglement. Only a new theory explaining the arrow of time and the geometry of space-time can unite quantum mechanics and classical mechanics, giving us one universal law of physics. In this theory we can see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower hold infinity in the palm of our hand and eternity in an hour just as William Blake said 